These were the most terrifying little bugs I've ever seen, and they were gnawing away at the metal while splitting exponentially. As the number of bugs grew, soon this alloy drone made of pure silver was half devoured by them. The staff noticed and immediately had to leave the place, but was stopped directly by the officers outside, because they found that the man's chemical suit has been bitten by these small bugs. He hurriedly prayed to the officers to let him out, but the officers knew that if he was released the whole base would die, so they watched the man fall down. At that moment, someone suddenly noticed that the shelf holding the giant was also gradually melting. Immediately after, cracks also began to appear on the bulletproof glass. The scientist hurriedly pressed a button. The laboratory immediately spewed out tens of meters high flames. But what they did not expect was that the fire not only did not play any role for them, but also completely angered the giant. He slowly raised his to large hands. The next second into tens of thousands of nanites began to sweep the entire laboratory. Then, with a ban, it crashed through the glass and engulfed the place. At the same time, the outside of the base has long been filled with tanks and cannons in waiting. With the gate of the base was crashed 10,000 meters, these nanites also all rushed out, at the order of the officers. All modern weapons immediately fired at the nanites. However, they shot past the shells not only useless, but also increased the number of nanites. They kept hitting the nanites and they kept increasing. Soon, countless nanites swept through their position and began to gradually spread outward. A 120 mph drop was instantly swallowed by them. Along with the highway was also swallowed together and turned into a desert. So where did these terrible bugs come from? The story began one day ago. Ew. S. Scientists through the satellite found an unidentified object is 100,000 kilometers per second to hit the Earth. By the impact of this unidentified object, all means of interception failed. The military immediately summoned scientists to study countermeasures, but the result of their unanimous research is only death. The countdown was about to end, and all of them were ready to meet the death, but wait for the countdown to end but nothing happened. They then looked out the window. It turned out that the unidentified object has slowed down on its own, slowly swept over the city, and landed in an open space in Central Park. The military immediately sent a large number of armed personnel to surround the place. When the smoke cleared, the scientists finally saw the true nature of the unidentified object, which turned out to be a huge round sphere inside the continuous emission of layers of light. Suddenly, inside came out of an alien. The alien seemed to have no malicious intent to extend his hand to shake hands with Bella. A soldier because of nervousness accidentally pulled the trigger and hit the alien body. It is because of this shot, the sphere out of another 5 meters tall giant, as soon as he opened his eyes, all modern weapons and cars went into silence, followed by a deafening zipping sound that made everyone present fall to the ground. He was about to attack Bella when suddenly the alien spoke out to stop him. The giant then slowly closed his eyes and all things returned to normal. Scientists immediately sent the alien to rescue him. Just as the doctors were about to operate on him, a strange scene occurred. The alien's surface skin was slowly falling off and underneath the surface skin was a human body. What's more incredible is that after only a few hours, he grew to adult size. When the man woke up, the U.S. Secretary of Defense approached him and asked him, what is your name and what is the purpose of coming here? The alien said his name was Latu and that he was here for Earth. He knew that a UN meeting would be held near here, so he would only explain to the UN what the purpose of coming here was. It was clear that the defense secretary could not be trusted by the aliens. Lada would not answer her questions again, so she sent someone to take Lada to the interrogation room to interrogate him with a lie detector. To their surprise, the polygraph not only failed to work on Watu, but was also used as a medium to control the interrogators. Lada was able to get the exit and password from her, and then observed the location of all the guards through the surveillance. Then, with his eyes closed, he precisely stunned all the guards through the wireless headset and walked out. After coming out, Lada suddenly found that his wound was bleeding. He had no choice but to call Bella for help. Bella rushed over to pick him up in order to find out what he was up to. In the car, he and Bella asked for a small bottle containing the skin that had been removed from his body. He got out of the point to the wound. A wipe wound miraculously healed automatically. This scene makes Bella very surprised. Meanwhile, the police are attacking the metal giant that came with Law 2, but the missiles were all intercepted by the giants before they could knock them down. The two drones, which were built with huge money, were also controlled by the giant and crashed straight into the tank on the ground. 
At this point, the military finally realized that as long as they didn't actively attack the giant, the giant would remain in silence. So, they got some huge isolation plates to transport the giant to the experimental base. Meanwhile, Lato asked Bella to take him to a forest on the outskirts. He came to a small lake, with his call a small ball of light emerged from the water. As the small ball of light gradually emerged from the water, all the creatures in the water also gathered towards the ball of light. Then, the light ball hidden around the world also appeared at the same time all. Desert rainforest, the sea, they will be an addition to human all creatures, and then take them away from the earth. At this point, Bella also finally found out that something was wrong. Under her questioning, Lada confessed everything to her. He said that he came here to save the earth. According to their prediction, the earth is heading towards its demise step by step. The main cause of the earth's demise is the human race. Therefore, the only way to save the earth is to completely wipe out the human race. Bella was immediately shocked by this news when she heard it. She pleaded that there is another side to us humans. But Lada didn't believe it at all. He had already been hurt by the defense minister. At this point, his defense minister was still insistent on capturing Lotto at all costs. Soon, several helicopters find their way. During the escape, Bella was inadvertently captured by the military. The two remaining helicopters, too, aimed their missiles at Lotto. But just as they were about to fire, the planes suddenly crashed into each other as Lotto took control and wobbled. He then took Bella's son and left the area. Meanwhile, the giant that had been transported to the base had chipped the alloy drill bit because the skin metal was too tough. Just when the staff went in to replace the drill bit, the scene at the beginning happened. At this time, the nanomites were rapidly devouring every city at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. The stadium, which could hold tens of thousands of people, lasted only three seconds before they were reduced to rubble. It was only now that the Minister of Defense realized the seriousness of this situation. She took it upon herself to come to Bella, hoping that Bella could go and convince La Tu. Bella first called her son and asked him to bring Lotto to the agreed upon meeting place. The son then took Lotto to a cemetery because he had seen Lotto resurrect a man with his own eyes. He prayed that Lotto would bring his father back to life, but there was nothing Lotto could do for someone who had been dead for too long. The little boy fell to his knees and cried sadly. When Bella arrives and sees her son alone and sad, she holds him tightly in her arms. Seeing this scene, it was as if Lotto understood what the other side of humanity was. The body is getting closer and closer to them, and he asks Bella to hurry and take him to Central Park, because there is still one last ball of light there to stop the program. Bella takes Lotto and rushes to the city. Just as they were about to reach the light sphere, suddenly several shells fell from the sky and sent their car flying tens of meters straight away. It turned out that the Minister of Defense wanted to destroy them together with the ball of light. Not only was the sphere unharmed, but it also delayed Lotto's stopping procedure. By the time they got out of the car, countless bugs had already attacked the place. Lotto could only take them into a bridge cave. He could only briefly keep the nanites out. At this point, Bella and her son had nosebleeds. It turned out that the nanites had invaded their bodies. Lotto had no choice but to grab their hands and suck all the nanites into his own body. Then, he took a fond look at Bella and walked into the huge storm of worms. He finally touched the ball of light, a second before his body dissipated, entering the pain of erosion. Then, the ball of light sent out a huge ripple that knocked all the nanites down. Then, the world went into a blackout again. When all the bugs finished falling, the world was back to normal. Bella with her son from under the bridge slowly out to see the ball of light leaving the earth, until the final fade in the sky. The biggest point of the play is not the shocking picture and magnificent special effects, but to advocate the protection of the earth is to protect ourselves.